Welcome to Notebook Ignite. Today's the 10th qualifier. Before we start with the proceedings for today, let me first express my gratitude to IAM Calcutta Innovation Park for being our knowledge partners on this journey, without whose help we could not have done this. And also for giving us such phenomenal judges who have shared their views, their thoughts, their advice with our young participants. We also must thank our gold sponsors, BSNL, our associate sponsors, the Webel Fujisoft Vara Center of Excellence and Logdhun, and our prize sponsor, the SKC LNCT Group of Colleges from Madhya Pradesh. As I said, we've had nine qualifiers thus far, and a lot of teams have already found their place on the leaderboard. But as you know, 64 schools are fighting for a position in the top 24. The top 24 teams move on to the semifinals where the competition gets more intense. These are the four schools that we have for today's round. We have Cygnus World School from Vadodara, the Learning Path School from Mohali, Maxford School from Rohini, Delhi, and Red Roses Public School, New Delhi. May I request all the participants to please uh, switch on their cameras? Can we have a quick round of introductions? If the team from Cygnus is here, can we start with you guys? Tell us what your name is, which class you're studying in, and also your hobbies and interests. Cygnus was cool. I can see Meet is here, Yash is here, and who else is here from Cygnus? Vaishnavi. Vaishnavi, would you want to go first? Yes, sir. So I'm in, I'm Vaishnavi Parekh. I'm from Cygnus World School and currently studying in 11th standard. I like reading and my hobby, uh, I like exploring new stuff, like participating in new competitions, uh, which includes entrepreneurship or related to business or accounts. Wonderful. Thank you, Vaishnavi. Meet Yash, whenever you're ready. Vaishnavi, I hope your teammates are here. Yes, sir. All participants, like all my team members are here. All right. Uh, Sitara, we see you have your camera on. Can we ask you to go next? Sure, sir. Um, hello, everyone. I am Sitara Espele from Cygnus World School, currently studying in 11th uh, Commerce Stream. I am interested in writing short stories and poems. Thank you. Wonderful. Meet. Can we ask you to go next? Hello, good afternoon. My name is Meet Alwani, and I'm from Cygnus World School, uh, currently studying in 11th Commerce. And I love reading books and explore new place, places. Thanks, Meet. Yash? Yes, sir. Good morning. My name is Yash, and I, I'm from Cygnus World School, uh, grade 11 Commerce, and I love solving puzzles. Great. Meet, while we could hear and see you very clearly while you were speaking, your connection seemed a little dodgy towards there, right? So we have a few minutes before you are starting to present. Why don't you check your Wi-Fi connection until then? Okay. Wonderful. Can we get across to Learning Path School, Mohali? So, good evening. I am Ishra from grade nine, and I love to dance. Good evening. I am Rishita Ghosh from Learning Path School. I am in 11th grade um, studying science and I really love uh, problem solving and participating in science fairs. Good, Good afternoon. Evening, My name is Shorya. I am from class 9 Learning Path School and I have an interest in creating robotics. Good afternoon, everyone present here. My name is Rupandeep Singh, and I am a student of Learning Path School. I like to participate in science exhibitions, and I have a vivid interest in music, science, and art. Greetings, everyone. I am uh, Varun Astogi, and I am currently in grade 11 medical, and I love uh, reading books, and I also love to getting more about cryptocurrency. <laughs> Thank you, team from Learning Path School, Mohali. Let's get across to Maxford School from Rohini. Team from Maxford, if you could please introduce yourselves.
Harshil, you can go first. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Harshil Mehra. I am in grade 11 studying commerce and I love sports. Hello. Yes, yeah, Sakshat, go on. Yeah. We can hear you. Yes, sir. I'm Sakshat Devan from Maxwell School, Rohini, and I really enjoy doing maths and accounts. Good evening. I am Kavyansh, studying in 11th class, and I want to do business. Is that the team? Uh, I'm Vanshika Jain, and I'm from Maxwell Schools, currently studying in class 11, non medical. And I love singing and studying both. Thank you. Great. A welcome team from Maxford Rohini. Let's get across to Red Roses Public School. Good morning, everyone. My name is Zahir Bali and I'm from Red Roses Public School. My hobbies are discovering new things and I also like to play football. Good afternoon, everyone. My hobbies are my name is and my hobbies are like uh, Gulpreet uh, would like to warn you about your connectivity. Your audio kept dipping in and out. So, would you mind checking your connection if possible? Right. Apurva, would you want to go next? Well, I am a Purva Singh from Red Roses Public School, Humanities 11 Standard, and I have deep interest in psychology and I also love um, spending time with the nature. Thank you. Wonderful. And we have Bhumika. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Bhumika Tandi of Class 11, Red Roses Public School. I am in Humanities and I love reading novels. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sachha Yadav. I'm from Red Roses School, the school, and my hobbies are to read as well as I'm keen interested towards legal studies. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, have we introduced everybody? I don't think Shorya and Niharika have had a chance. Shorya? I have introduced myself. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have two devices. Yet. Okay, got it. Uh, Niharika? All right. I think that's the four teams, young lawyers, people who love to read, athletes, and even aspiring lawyers. Today, all of them are aspiring to become entrepreneurs. And we are here to listen to their wonderful ideas. And judging them would be two extremely experienced and distinguished judges that I am Calcutta Innovation Park has so graciously helped us with. We have Mr. Kostum Majumdar. Armed with an advanced degree on leadership strategy and social psychology from the London Business School and a computer science degree from the University of Southampton, Kostov has 23 years of experience and a long list of professional achievements tagged to his name, including one in psychometrics from the University of Cambridge. His current engagements include startups and incubation at SPGN Institute of Management and Research, Mumbai, mentor and advisor for innovation at NSHM Knowledge Campus, Kolkata, director strategies at Data Science Foundation, the world's largest data science ecosystem, and director at ILS Network, a boutique consulting house with interest across industries and in different parts of the world. He's also the director at FCR, a bleeding edge virtual reality company, redefining visualization in India. He's a consultant at Swayam Shikshan Prayog in Pune, and an advisor in a number of exciting startups, some of which are not startups anymore, Sundew Solutions, UF Olympiad, e-IntelliSense, Orbiting, and Y East. Costa has taught more than 35,000 students all over the world and is a well known counselor, interview skills trainer, and advisor to young adults in more than 12 countries. He is a mentor, guide, and advisor to young businesses. His current interests are in virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and traditional opportunities like education technology, healthcare, especially senior citizen care, tourism, especially adventure and offbeat, and business process outsourcing. His personal interests include writing, and one of his stories has been recently made into a movie and is streaming on Z5. He is an avid cricketer and plays for teams in India and the UK. He loves the mountains and fields 
self defense and emergency care should be made mandatory for children in schools he currently stays between london singapore and india gostav thank you so much for being here today privilege to have you thank you professor. we also have with us thank you sir we also have with us mr arijit bhattacharya who has been a serial entrepreneur since 1998 he is a technologist an angel investor a public speaker a business matchmaking expert a government advisor an artist an author a community builder a game programmer virtual reality specialist ai evangelist blockchain specialist and a globe trotter with a business network spanning across more than 90 countries with two decades of experience in finance and technology arijit is a technologist artist and a comic storyteller and a superhero creator with a rare combination of finance and digital banking he develops and builds artificial intelligence and machine learning solutions and works on virtual reality mr game development he has made digital human from real actors and models from india 2007 onwards for his own game titles in vr games in which he converted more than 275 celebrities as 3d game characters and superheroes he is the founder and ceo at virtual infocom one of india's first game development and deep tech solutions and also the founder at the world leader summit which is one of world's largest leadership summits and international business clubs with 95 countries as part of its network members he is also a startup mentor and a board member of multiple startups he has also been the advisor to multiple incubators and accelerators in india singapore us china and russia mr bhattacharya once again thank you so much for being here always a privilege to have you well those ladies and gentlemen are your judges before we start the program just a little bit about notebook we at notebook try and make the students life easier by offering content on their personal devices laptops smartphones whatever they have access to here is a quick video to show you how well that's what we try to do here at notebook reduce the stress of those stacks of books on your table by offering content on your personal devices on to the job at hand this is the 10th qualifier and i would now like to call upon the first team to present their idea the signus world school vadodara if the contestants could please switch on their cameras i would request the other teams to switch off their cameras and mute themselves for now team from signus vadodara if all the members could quickly switch on their cameras so i have vaishnavi satara yash and me uh, who sir. would be sharing the screen sir i vaishnavi parekh could you just try doing that one so that we know that it's working sir are you able to see it yes we can see your screen okay uh just a word of advice i think you are using a shared presentation right that's yes so online yes us awesome. which is perfectly fine in case there is any network issue and your presentation gets stuck or something i am in charge of the time i will pause your time and you will okay. be given time to ensure things are in order right so nothing okay. to panic about great so you guys tell me when you are ready to start yes so we are ready awesome so signus was cool all the best your time for 7 minutes on the clock starts now good evening everyone this is satara espelai from signus world school with my team vaishnavi parekh yash jinjwaria and meetalwani and we present to you our business organization helping bugs as you can see this is our logo you must be thinking why have we chosen this what's so special about it as you can see it's a yellow bug buds showcase of flowers growth and determination as we envision our business plans grow we have taken two colors as our theme yellow and blue you must be thinking such bright colors well the color yellow depicts happiness uh, happiness and optimism which we want to give to our consumers it also showcases creativity blue showcases freedom imagination trust and loyalty which we expect from our co-partners and employees 
It also gives stability and confidence for future ventures. So what problem are we solving? So as we know, in post-COVID situation, unemployment and food deprivation is becoming a serious concern. Here, as we can see in the graph, Unemployment rate had increased to 23.5 percentage during the start of lockdown, that is April 2020. And by the way, this is the highest unemployment rate we have ever come across. So we, the creators of Helping Buds, are here to help the unemployment and needy ones. We made the serving household chore helping app to people. Our app gathers all household helping people like plumbers, maids, gardeners in specific localities. Customer can directly call or help or connect to us through the app so that we can provide them helpers to, uh, to the customers. When our business expands, our profit will help to reduce food deprivation. We will be serving leftover food from hotels or restaurants to poor ones. This is the social objective of our business. In our service, 20% profit will go to the business and 10% to the employees. Moreover, whose the employees whose growth is much better than the other ones will be served with midday meal scheme to boost the support. Now, you must be having many questions. There are millions of organizations in the world. Then why should you choose our app? Well, with the help of our app, our target audience of working families can spend less time in finding help for their daily activities. Can you imagine a working person finding time in such an hectic schedule? According to some statistics, an average person spends two hours on food preparation, cleaning up their houses and other tasks. Well, I can't find time in such a hectic schedule. By using our app, we are making the consumer's lives easier so that they can focus on other work while also creating employment opportunities. What is our strategy? Yes, we have fixed price with authentic benefits so that our consumers are happy. And also I explained that working persons have a million changes in their plan. You can change your plan if you do not want to continue and instead choose another plan. And who doesn't like discounts in a business plan? Here it is, free first five services. And I explained, blue depicts trust and loyalty. So we have trustful employees with all the safety measures taken due to COVID. And the last feature is customization of time. So the services we will be providing to you are first housekeeping, then haircut and beauty services, and next gardening, then plumber, electrician, old age health keeper, which is a caretaker for our grandpas and grandmas at our home, car washing, cooking service, carpenter, and even uh, all this in every services and the, uh, the employees are provided with 10% of bon uh, profit and bonuses and even with insu medical insurance. So how we will be getting introduced to the society? Will, well, we will be using digital media and social media platforms uh, that can help us uh, that can help our business to uh, to get it to different societies so that uh, every type of people can buy our services and be tension free as our business expands we will also be taking help of newspapers magazines radios etc for reaching our targeted audience Rivalry is good for is good for business. It can push you to innovate, stay. <coughs> Rivalry is good for business. It can push you to innovate, staying ahead of the curve. However, that competition may also be intimidating. You don't need to go down, but you are not sure how to fight competitor. Every organization deals with the issue, and what co success comes down to here is developing a program that helps you better provide your clients correct branding and supporting to the team. Here are some of the list of our competitors. Urban Company, Housejoy, Zimber, Urban Pro, Helper, Bricks. Still at lower level, we don't have many competitors. Here is the blueprint of our app. Steps to continue with our application. You first need to register in our app through registration menu. Further, it will ask, what do you want? Whether you need a service or provide a service. Next, 
book a service and get rid of all the tedious job you are facing thank you so much for listening to our business pitch hope you like it thank you so much well from the team from signus very very well done uh, before i invite the judges for the questions quick show of hands how many of you had parents making you do household chores during the lockdown sir i did some of the time so i also did yes felt that way i also well, <laughs> wonderful okay. must invite uh, the judges for the questions now but congratulations very well done thank you sir. mr bhattacharya mr majumdar over to you very well done guys thank you so much for a fantastic presentation sincerely appreciate it um much needed i like the way you finished your presentation with the rivalry slide just because your competition does not mean that things are tough it's, it's possibly good that means that there are others who have built a market for you to go and capture um it also sets your standards and the bar high which is the way it should be great i like that competitive spirit i appreciate that it's a very well made presentation um couple of quick questions i just want to do uh, ask you guys um just you know randomly thinking how about safety is that a concern that we need to have and if so yes, how would you so as we so as we told that in our benefits or the strategies we are using we will be there we will be providing you trustful helpers or workers and whatever th- and if something is done if something bad is done then the whole responsibility will be taken by our it will be taken by the app well yes but the app is not a human being and app cannot take responsibility you will have to take responsibility so if for example i work um, i'm one of the helpers the service providers and i go and do some hanky panky i steal something or whatever in one of your clients places would you be held responsible are you willing to be held responsible the owners of the company uh, yes sir because uh, it is our services the person who has done uh, this thing will be blacklisted he will be uh, i can say fired from our services and we can uh, you know compensate the uh, person who to whom we were rendering our services what if somebody gets murdered <laughs> so so obviously is, uh, is, um, business is hard right so you know pardon me for asking difficult questions it's not going to be easy um when you say responsibility it's a big word right and and clearly people are very responsible like i have no doubts about it but i don't want you to look at it lightly yes sir so, so okay don't don't have to answer that question my question thereby is what should you do to ensure that you are also protected what can you do so uh, we will have a character check you will have a um so a character check of all our employees and our workers who are under our organization okay is there something called a character check yes sir if there was then why do why do we have crime in society we can just character check everybody and put them behind bars before they commit crime uh so just like police verification is a compulsory for everyone ah now now we are getting somewhere so we will have to do like a police verification we will have to do some sort of a personality character check maybe it will work so we'll have to do a series of things to ensure that we are getting the right kind of people because they're you know they are going to be representing okay good good i i appreciate that that's one question one more question um this app how are you going to make this popular i know you spend some time talking about it how how will i know that this app is there and i should use it So probably will take the help of digital marketing because now we know that in every household we need some or the other worker to do these things because it's very tedious job and there are many working couple who are not able to provide that much time to do this tedious work. That's why we can use Facebook or WhatsApp. We can have that posters. We can build that 
so that people can know about our app how will people know that you are offering these jobs um so right now as we know during the uh, uh, during these times uh, everyone is taking some of the other device using some of the other device because everything is right now online even our online classes our, our work from home so everyone is using some or the other device so we have using a uh, digital marketing uh, to publicize our product or our services to the public so what i'm trying to leave behind is that you would need to thereby digitally promote yourself both to prospective employees and prospective clients am i correct so ram we were thinking that for the employees we can start from our home like i know that if someone is coming to my home they have a group of people who are connected so that they know what's happening in surrounding so if we, we can uh, if we can uh, help some one person or if we tell them what we are doing and if they are if they are thinking that is better for them probably a whole group is known to them so probably by this way we can attract more employees okay okay pretty good thank you so much i'm i'm done very good very well done thank you so yeah i don't have any question i think uh, my good friend uh, is already done with the question here but yeah would love to understand how exactly if if at all this is a executable uh, proposition from your end would love to understand how it is started uh, creating a business plan is pretty cool you know attending and joining the business uh, plan and winning it another structure but i firmly believe in mainly the execution part rather than winning the business plan competitions so would love to understand if you some of you or maybe one of you can explain me how exactly you are going to start it so probably with a survey to know what kind of services many people need and the target audience we are thinking to do it in small towns like varudra which is in gujarat and because we know that most of this apps which are urban company they are targeting the metro cities like pai of them this amdavad bangalore so we are thinking to target the small towns where there are employ there are customers which are very beneficial for us hey, so you, you know as a as a student you have more capability than us probably more strength than us you have a great student community you can ask your teammates probably other school members to uh give you such kind of report maybe you are door to door server uh um, we all understand this but business is not about creating a server so probably later on we can connect offline i really love the idea and as a reason maybe i'm giving you such kind of feedback so would love to understand maybe offline basis maybe after the competition if you are interested we can talk about how you can run and how things can be executed good luck guys thank you so much sure sir thank you so much and uh, when you connect with mr bhattacharya and he decides to invest in your idea just remember where it all happened we are taking a commission out of this so ladies and gentlemen the judges are scoring the team on 100 you get to have your say as well please rate the signus world school team performance out of 20 you can rate them 5 on 20 10 on 20 15 on 20 or 20 on 20 in the meantime i believe the judges have access to the scoring sheets they're putting in the scores and i would also urge the audience to remember the four teams that you see on the list today are not competing amongst themselves they are part of a larger group of 64 schools so they're competing with the other 63 in finding a place in the top 24 on that list we are about 35 seconds in 72% of people have voted Fifty seconds in, we have eighty-four percent votes in the bag, and uh, while the participants might not be able to see the poll on their screen, I can see the results live, which means I can tell them that guys, you have reason to smile. You have impressed quite a sizable section of the audience with your business plan. The last ten seconds, and the last ten percent left to vote. and that's time 
So 90 seconds of polling, the judges have already put in their scores. Cygnus World School, Vadodara, very, very well done. Wonderful start to the day's proceedings. I would now request the next team to come on stage. We have the Learning Path School from Mohali. If the team from Learning Path School could please put on their cameras. Would again request other teams to keep their cameras off at this time. Great. And if you guys could let me know who will be presenting. Uh, I will be presenting. Wonderful, Shaurya. Shaurya, could you share your screen once so that we know it's in order? Great. We can see your screen. You let me know when you're ready to start and I shall start the timer. Great. So team from Learning Path School, Mohali, all the best. Your time for seven minutes starts now. Greetings, everyone. Today, B2C from Learning Path School presents you Segbu. Let me introduce you to my team. Shaurya Jain, Rupandeep Singh, Varun Rastogi, Ishrat Kaur, and I, Rishita Ghosh. We present to you SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Management, and its fifth target to substantially reduce waste generation through prevention, reduction, recycling, and reuse by 2030. Sustainable consumption and production is about promoting resource and energy efficiency, sustainable infrastructure, and providing access to basic services. Overall, a better quality of life, which requires a systematic approach and cooperation among citizens. When garbage is collected, it is mixed. The dry and wet waste chemically break down in landfills and end up producing nasty greenhouse gases. Solid waste collection has been one of the growing challenges throughout the world due to the development of urbanization and uncontrolled growth of the population. It is a complex process that is expensive and requires elaborate logistic management. Hence, there is an urgent necessity to develop an efficient waste collecting process while saving time, labor, maintenance costs, and carbon emissions. To achieve our goal, we have designed SEGBO, the segregating board. So what exactly is SEGBO? SEGBO has an industry in history from being a sensor dustbin to an AI-enabled segregated dustbin. This concept arose from the daily hassles of handling and disposing waste at community level. We began working on a dustbin with sensors which opens automatically. The simple dustbin was gradually improved by adding two separate bins for dry and the wet waste. Segregation of waste into wet and dry is really hard process manual. It also required a clear understanding of waste categories and high degree of awareness. From this, the idea slowly developed in a new direction. What if the dustbin itself identifies and segregates waste? But how? Thus, Segbo took its present form, an AI-enabled segregated dustbin. The prototype gradually developed, bringing many notifications. Started out as a simple cardboard box that could segregate waste is now sophisticated dustbin that uses excellent AI cameras and sensors and technology to segregate your waste. The dustbin can now segregate waste much faster and more efficiently by using better programming. What are the mechanical aspects of Segbo? We have to throw away, we just have to collect the waste and position it on the lid of the dustbin. Just above the lid, there will be an AI camera which will take a pic of the waste that is being disposed of. This AI camera will be controlled by Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a strong microcontroller which is run by Python and can be programmed in order to run an AI software. Artificial intelligence. It deals with the collection of large quantities of data which can be provided to a computer so that it can become familiar with the data. It behaves like a child which can be taught by providing information. Servo motor. This will be attached to the lid so that when the waste is kept on the lid, it will get a signal from the Raspberry Pi in order to rotate and push the waste down the dustbin. After analyzing the waste, Raspberry Pi will send a message to the motor number two, which is being attached to the gears on the dustbin, thus helping in segregating the waste into two different compartments. One compartment for the wet waste and the other one for the dry waste. Upon researching, we found that many dispenser manufacturers which use microcontrollers of low power like Arduino, which can't handle a proper functioning of a smart dustbin. And we even found out that many smart dustbins are also being installed with moisture, metal, and IR sensors. Low power microcontrollers like Arduino can't handle so many sensors. 
In addition to this, an AI software is much more precise as compared to sensors in the process of segregation. Now, I will be explaining the business plan of Segbo. To sell Segbo, we will be focusing on both B2B as well as B2C customers. Distribution, we will do newspaper advertising and social media advertising. We'll also set up live product displays in various public places to create awareness and publicize our product. Target consumers, we will start our sales from our own school and then we plan to expand it to other schools, housing societies in our cities and public places like malls, parks, etc. We are also focusing on preparing proposals for government organizations in order to increase our visibility in the market. We're also hoping to partner with some NGOs that are catering to waste segregation in our city. Also, we we'll sell our product directly to customers. Since we will be focusing on dealing with these agencies, we'll adjust our price as per the quantity demanded. The finances of our project Segbo are, for the startup inventory, the total cost comes out to be rupees 28,715. The cost of making one Segbo is rupees 6,274. The cost of each material is visible on the screen. We have also decided to produce two Segbo in a day. So in 15 days, we plan to produce 30 Segbo. The total cost comes out to be rupees 1,87,050. Now my teammate Shorya will be showing the live working of Segbo. Before starting, I request the judges to pin Shorya's screen, which is showing the working. Thank you. I would like you to please pin the screen device named LPS Shorya working. As we have over here is our main project prototype. First up, we have our processing unit, which processes the waste images made from from the AI camera and the IR sensor. The processing unit scans the waste using our laptop, which acts like a server hub, which makes it super fast and easy for it to recognize different types of waste. Over here, we have our motor setup and our capacitor board, which keeps track of the energy output and allows proper efficient working of the gears. At the bottom, we have the dry bin, and at the left side, we have the wet bin. For wet bin, we will sell the waste for manure to farmers and the dry bin will collect for recyclable items, reducing 80% of generated household. Now, I have two items. We have a banana and a piece of paper. Let us switch on our prototype just to show you how quick our system turns on. As you can see, it's ready to function and segregate waste at seconds. Now I have a piece of paper, which we all know is dry waste. And as soon as I put it in the bin, the bin instantly classifies it as dry waste and puts it right down below. But here I have a banana, which is wet waste. And as soon as I place it in the bin, the bin classifies it as wet waste, moves down and drops it down into the waste chamber. And with this, we have segregated our waste. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation. Hey, super, awesome. Uh, love that idea, but uh, a small question. You are mentioning about AI. Where is the AI over here? Am I audible? So yes, I'm um, sorry. For the AI, we have the AI camera. So the AI camera scans waste and using the sensors, the artificial intelligence segregates each item independently with much more efficiency than normal hey, sensors. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Shuya. Uh, you're talking about the weight or you're talking about the, the waste, waste? No, no. You're probably taking care of the, the weight of that particular material. Banana probably is much more uh if you if you compare that with a piece of paper paper doesn't have that much of mass and your banana have got more mass so you're probably calculating the mass rather than the object no we are actually scanning objects so the ai camera it scans the objects and as it learns to identify shapes different types of objects and it classifies them as dry or waste 
depending on how it learns things okay so kind what of google happens, assistant what happens if i create a banana with a piece of paper and then put it in front of your camera so for that it will uh, cl try to classify the paper into the dry and banana into the wet depending on how the motors are able to separate the banana how and the you, paper how do you calculate that with uh, a camera whether it's 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 a uh, sister, yeah yes sir, i understand your question i would like to add to uh, shorya's statements uh, so, so basically uh, what AI camera is functioning over here is like it will click a picture of uh, the waste and like we have to provide data for an AI system, we need to provide as much data as we can. For example, if I am having one banana right now over here, I, I have to take pictures from very different angles and uh, we need a lot of data like uh, I am talking about uh, many AI systems uh, which are being used right now in the world. They are having around one TB of data just for uh, like understanding what kind of thing it is. So over here, what we did is we took many pictures of a banana or paper in order to make the AI understand that which one is the wet waste and uh, which one is the dry waste. And what's the algorithm that you're using? If I'm, if you can share me. We are using Python programming. And That's it the is language. Based... I'm, I'm talking about the algorithm. I'm not talking about your Python language. I'm talking about the algorithm, the exact logic. I don't understand the question. No, it is. Okay. Probably I'll, I'll stop here. But yeah, beautiful presentation. At least you have got something which is tangible and we can see. And uh, really excuse good luck. Me, sir? Yeah. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, so, so I think you were asking like, uh, what kind of program are we using over here? No, no, no. I'm talking about what kind of logic you're using here, not the program. Uh, yes, but the logarithm which we are uh, using here, uh, basically uh, the name of that uh, logarithm which are we are using in this program is uh, YOLO. So basically what it does is, uh, as I told you that uh, it basically we have to give provide this thing with a lot of data and then according no, to I understand you, what you're doing, Randeep, Rupandeep. Thank you. Thank you. I understood what you're doing. Good wish. Good wish. A lot of good, good wish for entire team. Thank you so much. Hey guys, very well done. Thank you so much. That was fantastic. Really, really appreciated that. Um, I think what Arjit was also hinting at, you need to be slightly careful about dropping technology terms uh, in the world of business, whether it is actually just a regular camera which scans, or is there any any learning that I think I think uh, into some some degree Shaurya did speak about that the, the the system inside would learn for future waste what it's going to come otherwise it doesn't sound like an ai camera but you know that's all i mean that that's that's one important point but otherwise i really really liked it i love the way you have made a prototype i sincerely appreciated that not too many people make prototypes it's the first step it's fantastic uh, I love the way there were cables everywhere and this capacitor over there. There's a logic board over there. It's a laptop connected. I, I wish I was there to see that in, in, in person and, and throw some things in there and see how the segregation takes place. Um, one quick point that I would like to mention to you guys, making a product and doing a business are not the same things, right? Product is just one part and a crucial part of the entire business flow, whatever you're going to make, right? We're going to, at the end of the day, people you will have to find customers, you'll have to convince them, you'll have to sell them the product, they will have to use it, they will have to like it, they will have to like it so much that they talk about it, and then others will buy it. So uh, what in your, what I would have liked to see in your marketing, um, some sort of marketing focus, I would have liked to see a little bit uh, so sort of, you know, when you talked about budget, you talked about making your product, but you did not tell me how you are going to, um, people are going to get to know about it, and, you know, uh, and so, so I, I, I can yeah, please go ahead. Brother. So, so we, like I told, like we will do email marketing. So also, we will do social media advertising and we'll also set up like live displays in public places like i'm sure Varun, you would do all of those things what i'm trying to tell you is you set the bar high now because you have a product so i automatically expect you to do a lot more than i would have expected otherwise 
you went into unit economics of doing a pricing of your product, which is fantastic. Whether it's a good price, correct price is secondary. Your approach is perfect. That's exactly the way I would do it. Because you are doing mass, you know, little, little unit pricing of your product, you should do the same for your marketing drive and not make statements like I'm going to do email marketing because you have the, clearly the capability of getting down into depths uh, when you made the product, you need to have the same thing of how you're going to sell the product. You see, depth pay up to, uska bhi pricing vagara sochna padega, har cheez ke bariki se sochna zaruri hai. But otherwise, very impressed with you guys. Very well done. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Wonderful job, team. The audience already has the poll up on their screen. You have 90 seconds to vote for Learning Path School Mohali. Guys, brilliant stuff. When you were first talking about the product, I thought this was like my time machine. I have a cardboard box in my terrace that I sit in and I think I'm watching dinosaurs. This is not that. And Shorya, I guess the, the prototype is in your house, right? Yes sir. yes, sir. How has your mom reacted to you bringing in different kinds of garbage to test it out? She just wanted the garbage to stay in the room. Okay, perfect. I think that's a very good strategy from your mom. Well, ladies and gentlemen, about 42 seconds, 44 seconds now, uh, we have 71% votes, but I think such a brilliant show does deserve all of you to stand up and vote. Whatever you think, 5 on 20, 10 on 20, 15 on 20, or 20 on 20, but do have your say. A minute is up. Close to 80% of people have voted. Just about the last 15 seconds. And that's time. Well, thank you members of the audience for voting your scores for the Learning Path School. The team from Learning Path School, Mohali, very, very well done. Congratulations once again. It is now time for me to invite the next team on stage, which is the Maxford School, Rohini. Team from Maxford, if you could please switch on your cameras. I have Neharika, Vanshika, Sakshat, Harshil, and Kavyanj. That's the team, right? Yes. Great. Who would be sharing the screen? Sir, I will be sharing the screen. All right, Neharika, let's take it for a test drive. Great. We can see your screen. Let me know when you're ready to start. It takes a will to organize an event rather than skills. Hello, everyone. I'm Manchika Jain. And I, Niharika Sachdeva, from Maxwell School, Rohini, would like to present a business plan in front of you all. So, Evento is the solution to one of the most faced problems we face today. In today's time, we mostly see nuclear families, and we all have busy schedules as well. And hence, it is difficult to even think about events. Even when I say events, that person might start frowning at me because of obvious reasons. But time doesn't stop for anyone, and so does life. Whether or not you accept it, it is the better truth of life. At that time, you'll have to manage everything once you're on your own. You'll have to make your parents proud. But how will you do it? Maybe you don't have such contacts as your father. Maybe you don't know much about the jewelry you should wear at your wedding as compared to your mother. Maybe you don't know much about the rituals for some wedding as compared to the elders in your family. But since you're on your own, you'll have to manage everything perfectly in every aspect possible. Yes, it is a big responsibility. And I completely understand. And we Evento believe in the will rather than the skill. So don't you worry. Evento will help you with everything. The perfect companion for your occasions. Now, you people will be thinking, why only Evento? Why not any other app for its substitute? 
What special thing will it do for me? Let me ease up that bit for you. Evento. Evento because it will not only help you in organizing an event, it will help you to make an event successful. We deliver the three essential ingredients to wow the guests at your event. Food, talent, and decoration right in front of you. Now, in events like wedding, birthdays, parties, or any such occasion, we enjoy a lot, but the host has to do a lot of work. How good it will be if you have everything at the very tip of your fingers. How good it will be if you can have contacts as your father. Any contact that you could think of, jeweler, wedding planner, party planner, decorator, confectioner, all in one single app on your mobile phone. How, satisfy how satisfying it will be if you can choose the waiters for your events to serve your guests. Your father had contacts. How good it will be if you can have celebrity wishing you at your event. How much peace will it give you when you give your loved ones your approved and your customized gift and gift hampers? Is it like a dream? Well, event is a dream come true. It will provide you the power to decide. It will give you the chance to rule your event. Our app is simple and easy to use. With less than five clicks on your phone, your party is on. Evento is special because it will help you in your happiest moments, but will stay by your side, holding your hand. It provides services for rituals that no one could ever imagine or think of. Evento will help you through both your hardest and most memorable moments of your life. And thus, I'm bound to announce and tell it to the whole world. Evento is your perfect companion for your events. A good business is described by having the understanding of the functioning of the market. And we should always know where do we stand, what are we dealing with, and what are we getting ourselves into. The current revenue for year 2021 size is about 10,000 crore rupees. It had compound annual growth rate or CAGR of approximately 14% in last five years. Broadly speaking, there are three markets for event planning private, corporate, and social, that we also call charity. Private include birthdays, celebrity wishing videos, marriage, anniversary party, kitty parties, baby shower, etc., etc. The term corporate includes not only companies, but also charities and non-profit organization. Charities and non-profit organization host gala fundraisers, reception, and athletic competitions, among other events to expand their public support and base raise their funds. The main task Evento will be completing as an event management company, research, design, proposal, coordination, and evaluation. Now I'll be handing over to my team with Neharika. Neharika, please unmute yourself. Am I audible? Yeah, go on. Isn't that just amazing? An app for everything. The year gone by has taught us many things. The most important being change with the changing times. Adapt to the need of the art and keep moving forward without feeling defeated. Evento is a platform which serves as a foundation for all the events. You just have to name and from the scratch of every event till its accomplishment. The market size is about 5,000 crore by the year 2022. Evento is providing every service. It will have more opportunities. Our platform will be open to provide products and services as per the requirement of the event plan. To be more precise, apps like Weddings.in are only limited to weddings and Ferns and Petals are only limited to gifts involving plus. At Evento, products and services will be, able, will be available as per the need of the event. We are changing the world with technology. For entering the market, it is preferred to keep low prices for your services. To capture large market share, entering into the market, there are already big companies which are going to tie up with us. But why will they tie up with us? Yes, promoting our platform as one-stop solution when it comes to event management. Our primary objective will be the youth. We will provide them the exposure and great opportunity. Nobody counts the number of ads you run. They just remember the impression you make. The features of our app will also help the dormant companies to be noticed. 
marketing strategy plays a vital role in the functioning of a company. In order to have a successful outcome, platforms like social media, blogging, email, paid promotions, and influencing marketing will help us a lot. Advertisement plays a vital role, and so we have few ways to advertise our app. Outdoor advertisement, which includes billboards, sunflex, newspapers, DMRC boards, and other few ways like social media, Google ads, radio, popular social media applications. The startup cost plays a vital role. We are, as during the tough times of the pandemic, most of us are working from home. And so the lowest startup expense from working from home is shown on the screen and the highest after the companies are working by calling the staff. Revenue model plays a vital role in the functioning of the country, in the functioning of the company. The revenue model for our company is commission from vendors, which where we will act as an aggregate between the customers and the vendors and charge commission for it. Also revenue from white labeling. As we are getting paid for making That's seven minutes, and suggested advertisement for our organizers. Geographical locations as, if, uh, as the prices matter from one place to another. And so price of hosting an event in South Delhi will be comparatively more as compared to hosting in North Delhi. Marketing segment, depending on the type of buyer, we will, we will charge the different prices. Revenue from services, fees paid by the event organizers for managing the listing on Evento. Impact. Impact of our app by the year 2027 will be around 30,000 people will be booking an event every month. Evento is on its way to be one of the top applications as it is cheap and worthwhile the best services. It is also going to be one of the top applications by uh, the year 2050. Also, the Guys, uh, levels... sorry to butt in, but you've gone significantly over time. Do you really want to continue? Because there is an overtime penalty. We are eventually done. It was just thank you slide. All right. Uh, well, my apologies for having butt in, uh, in the middle of it. But as you know, there is a time limit of seven minutes and teams going over that are being docked points. Uh, Mr. Majumdar, Very first of all, very well done. Sir. Very uh, interesting take on event management outsourced. Uh, Mr. Majumdar, over to you, sir. Thank you. I'm just so amazed with all of these people. Uh, also, the quality of your presentation is so fantastic. I, I like the way you have played with the colors. I like the way, um, I don't know if it's a template, if it is, I don't know how you can find such templates and I cannot. And if you guys have designed it yourself, oh my God. Um, so I, I'm, I'm very impressed overall with the thought process. I think you're, um, well, I might have missed it. You might have spoken about it, a substantial part. And I don't know much about events. Um, <clears throat> that's the department generally in my household. Um, looked after by everybody else apart from me, including my dog. Um, I just turn up and eat. Um, well, I, what, what I think a crucial part of events are, is, is would be um, the service providers. And if you say, I'm going to do 30,000 events by the end of the year, how are you going to get the service providers to give you they're going to book, right? So you're going to book a five-star hotel or you're going to book a lawn or you're going to book something. But aapko ye, um, inventory milega? Kaise so I would like to answer that. First things first, sir, we are just starting the business. Uh, and as we all know, when the business grows, the market grows as well. So as uh, we get more investors and more customers, we'll increase our reach in that area and we'll be able to open our own restaurants as well. Okay. What? Stop. You're again flying high. We need to, as you know, the risk of sounding uh, boring and cliched, we need to be able to walk before we can run. Um, as the business grows, as you say, how will you get your first few? You will need to have some inventory to sell to people. Forget 30,000. How will you get the first 30? There's, a, there's been a lot of focus of 
acquiring customers, which I love because that's my area of work. I, I you know, I talk about sales and marketing and branding, and I talk about go to market. So I'm so, very happy. But since, I, I'm not understanding how to, you know, sort of serve those customers. So since you're uh, the main purpose of Vento is to list professional ones, as you can see, for example, there's just dial. It it gives a number of it gives a number of options, but it is not specified how that option performs. But in Evento, every single one is professional, meaning that they are efficient as well. They will easily help us reach our goal of 30,000 since- I they haven't are... understood what you're saying, Sakshar. Uh, sir, uh, have you heard of Just Dial? I'm sorry? Just Dial. Yes, I know about Just Dial. Yes, sir. Uh, if but you I'm, open- a, I if... know how Just Dial operates. That's my problem. I know how Just Dial operates. I know them very well, actually. But I'm not sure you know how they operate. So my question again, how will you get the first few? Sir, you know, I emails? would like to answer and you, your question. Don't worry if you've not covered it in the presentation. You haven't, I know that. But you can just make it up right now. It just needs to make sense. Right. So we would tie up with them, like in advance. Okay. Yes, 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 great. You will tie up with them. Very yes, good. Sir. So they need, to, they need to feel that they should want to tie up with you. Am I right? So we will present our plan in front of them and they will definitely like it. Okay. Because we have so, that idea, we will also be using digital marketing platform to advertise. So a second. I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy, Vinishka. I think we're making good progress. So you're going to tie up with an event. You're, you're going to tie up with a facility provider and you're going to go and tell them that, hey, I have this fantastic app and um, I will help you reach customers quickly. Is that what you're going to tell them? Yes, so. And why will I, if I am the facility provider, why will I accept it? Why will I agree to be a part of this app? So I would like to. So because we're the only one, we're the only one who is providing everything. Okay. We provide food. We provide decorations, and of course, everyone would uh, everyone would like everything at one place. We would also. Okay. Yes, so. Okay, Saksha, do you want to do add on to that? Uh, so, since we are providing everything at once, for example, if you take wedding tote they only provide in weddings, ferns and petals, they only provide uh, gifts, uh, including flowers. We are providing everything. This automatically increases the opportunities for the business, uh, uh, for the other business or the company. So, also, I would like to add one thing. You asked me a question why would they like us, right? Why would they want to tie up with us? So, I would like to answer that question trying to answer it in one line because we will not charge to list them. Of course, everyone want their branding, their advertisement, right? Okay. So everyone would like their business to be known by other people as well, right? So okay. we, what we would do, we will not charge them. We would, um, we would recommend people to, you know, um, have things from their business and we would okay. not charge them at all. Okay. So before, before I go, a quick, well, quick thought for you and everybody else. Um, I think it's very good. And there, is, there are no right or wrong answers, right? We can go on discussing this. And you'll never know till you try, et cetera, et cetera. But in, in, uh, unlike other groups, you have focused very heavily on customer acquisition. And I love that. Thank but you, execution sir. and making the customers happy is a crucial component of the business where your presentation was slightly weak but you've focused on something which others have not done uh, or very, are do, not doing enough. So it takes both, right? So at times you need to sell to get somebody to come to your app and use your app. At the same time, you would need to put in a serious degree of effort to sell to your vendors because this particular business of yours will be as good or as bad as the vendors. So the best vendors must list with you so you must understand why they will be happy to list with you, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a line of thinking you should also have. Maybe the, the four of you will brainstorm and come out with some ideas on that. But otherwise, very impressed with the presentation. Thank you. I'm done. Sorry for taking too long, Shubhayu. No, no, sir. Not at all. Thank you. Thank you so much for those uh, you know, words of advice. I'm sure that is the best part that the teams are taking away from this contest. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard the team, you've heard the judge. It is now time to have your say. You have the poll up on your screen. You can rate the team from Maxford School, Rohini. 
5 on 20, 10 on 20, 15 on 20, or 20 on 20. You guys should have told us earlier that you are doing event management. We would have let you manage Ignite. And you could possibly look at having a vertical for virtual events. You know, that's that's big right now. Last couple of years, the number of virtual events that have happened is through the roof. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. We are about 35 seconds in and 78% of people have voted. About a minute in, 30 seconds left for those 18% people who are yet to vote, please do. And this is the team from Maxford School, Rohini. If the next team could also get ready in the meantime, that would be great. The last five seconds. And that's time. Wonderful. So Maxford School, Rohini, very well done on the presentation. I'm sure the judges are scoring you well. The audience has definitely polled very well for you. However, I will have to dock four points of your score for going over limit on the time, right? Uh, unfortunately, rules are rules. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to move on to the next school on our list today. The Red Roses Public School, New Delhi. The team from Red Roses, if you could please switch on your cameras. I have Tushar, Apurva, Dharya, Bhumika, and Gulpreet. Sakshat, if you could please switch off your camera, that would be a good chat. Sorry, sir. No worries, no worries. All right, so that's the team. Let me know who would be presenting. Team from Red Roses Public School, yeah. Right, we can see your first slide. So are you ready? Yes, sir. Great. So Red Roses Public School team. So just a moment. I sure. should on my camera and video. Yes. So now thank you, sir. Great. So if you guys are ready, your time for seven minutes on the clock starts now. Good evening, everyone. We are the team of Red Roses Public School, New Delhi, and today we'll be introducing you to our app, Educascade. Learn today, lead tomorrow. In today's world, education for students is given prime concern. Parents enroll their kids into various institutions to help them learn their lessons. However, it's been observed that coaching institutions do not always offer the best education for the students, other than the fact that they demand much more money than is desirable. So, to bring this to an end, we have come up with an app named Edu Educascade, which, ha uh, which has the flair to replace all the coaching institutions. Uh, I have paused the clock. So, why don't you guys get the slideshow in order and then we can start again? Oops. Sir, shift the shin right towards me, Tushar. Go ahead, Tushar. All of you have equal sharing rights now. Thank you. I hope it is visible, sir. Yeah, we can see your screen now. Would you like to start again? Uh, yes, sir, please. Yes, sir. All right. So if you're ready, we will start your seven minutes now. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. We are the team of Red Roses Public School, New Delhi. And today we'll be introducing you all to our app named Educascade. Learn today, lead tomorrow. 
In today's world, education for children is given prime concern. People enroll their kids into various institutions to help them learn better. However, it's been observed that coaching institutions do not always offer the best education for the students, other than the fact that they demand much more money than is desirable. So, to bring this to an end, we have come up with an app named EduCascade, which has the flair to replace coaching forever. It is an education app aiming at helping the students understand their lessons and get their concepts cleared in a fun, play way. In today's thriving world, in today's world of thriving technology, EduCascade can prove to be the one-stop solution to all your academic problems, working right on your fingertips. Okay, Usha. Okay, so now I will explain you our features of our app. Let's begin with the first feature, My Profile. I know it's a most common feature in all the apps, so let's discuss about it. In this option, student can take a look at the personal details like name, class, roll number, mobile number, etc. Next up, let's move on to the next uh, topic. The next topic is subject. In this, student will offer all the subjects from first to twelve. Every subject will have the three options: video, practice, and test, which will help the student to uh, uh, learn better. Next up is practice. In this, the student can take automated AI assignments from the com uh, from the com uh, completions of each subject every uh, every assignment every uh, this means that when the uh, topic will be clear there will be a assignment posted in the app and they can practice it so it can make the lesson more better next up is the study material in this apart from the videos they will be there will be also proper uh, proper structural notes and also there will be some quick learning uh, methods which will be map mind maps charts fun diagrams next up is test every after every chapter student can take a automated ai generated test on the basis of their level there will be three levels there will be multi uh, multiple choice questions question based and mcq okay so let's move on to our next topic which will which will be live sessions. In this, student, if let's take an example that if student is not able to learn from the our notes and he has some doubts and some questions, so he can click on this option and can take live sessions by which he can take one, he can uh, look one by one interaction in class with their personal mentors. Next up is extracurriculum activities. We will have some special weekends of classes for extracurricular activities in which we will, uh, the student can learn magic, dance, doodling, and much more. Then comes rewards. Everyone wants rewards for hard work, right? Oh, our app fulfills that as well. Rewards to extra performative students will be given so that it can encourage them and help them increase interest. And then there will be a progress report shown to students so that their, perfor uh, their performance can be seen by their parents where the performance has been exceptionally well and where the students need to build up scores. An evaluation report will help the students to know where they stand and can reach great heights in academics. Then, uh, then comes Lemmy. Lemmy is a friendly board building novel interactions and endless conversations, just like a friend. Have you ever heard of an encyclopedia? Encyclopedia where you have to turn pages, but Lemmy is not like that. You can ask Lemmy about anything and it will itself become that thing and answer in a very friendly and unique manner. Then, uh, then comes another unique feature of our app. Have uh, Every app makes provisions for different students, but what about our disabled friends and our unique group? We make provisions for the disabled children so that they can learn through AI professionals, 3D graphics, animated videos etc and can earn a bright and easy learning experience so now the question comes how will our app be socially beneficial for students firstly ai powered teaching assistant an ai powered virtual teaching assistant is a program designed to improve a student's learning experience Second, no coachings. The biggest advantage of opting for an online learning methodology is that the students can learn at their own place. Third, quality learning. 
our app targets the psychology of the students which will help the students to understand and grab the information from a different perspective then quick and easy solutions this application will make it easy for the students to search the appropriate study materials such as mind maps educational games tricks etc then mobile tablet and laptop compatible our app will be compatible in all these three devices parental access also the parents can keep a look on their child's performance and they can have the access through which they can even manage the courses his or her child has opted now tushar will further tell you about our marketing plans good evening everyone now we will deal with the marketing theme of our app so before diving deep into the topic i would like to introduce a quote by mr e faber who was a leading entrepreneur and has founded out faber castle pencil According to him, finance without a plan is just number, and a plan without finance is just dreaming. Mr. E. Faber. Now we will be dealing with the various aspects of the marketing scheme for Ara. Team. We start our app with the help of our software engineers, teachers, and student friends. They will be the core. These will be the core members of our initial team. Other than that, we will be appointing content creators, production managers, and editing team, as well as for other horizons of our app. Second, initial financing. As we all know, finance has been the major concern for each and every entrepreneur. So we have decided to finance the development of AI teacher assistant by applying a loan from a bank and providing them blueprint of our app. Other than that, we'll be hiring teachers on a flexible basis rather than on a regular basis, like interns from sites like internshala.com, which will reduce the cost of operation for us. The YouTube part, the interesting one, my friend. Videos that will be uploaded in our app will also be streamed on YouTube. But friends, only some of them, so we could attract more and more students. We'll earn money from the subscriber, watcher, views, and etc. When we reach a minimum mark, we'll be accepting brand sponsorship and we'll also be doing paid promotions in our YouTube channel. Fifth, advertisement via website and educational institution. We'll make a website for our app in which we will give details about the company, app, and weekly update. But my dear friends, it has a catch in it. We will be accepting Uh, promotions in the name of the whole website, but rather than putting these ads on the main pages like the video section, we'll put them on the fun zone, which are not commonly visited by the student. Because of this, there will be no hindrance between the student and the teacher, and it won't compromise with the studies. We will also move from school to school and maximize students by providing them some of the facilities. Social media, guys. So guys, that's seven minutes. You can continue if you want. All right, sir. We are just grabbing. All right, sir. So the subscription plan are clearly laid in front of your screens. Please have a look, my dear friends. Other than that, we won't be compromising with the poor section society. We will be providing them with the free services. And now, that's the conclusion from our side. Thank you. Also, sir, I would like to be very sorry for the crash earlier. It was all of us tragic. No, no, don't worry about it. uh i i love it when something happens and technology lets you down and you guys remain unfazed and pick up right there i i love that spirit uh mr bajumdar over to you sir for the questions yes very well put uh, shubhayu absolutely i think that's such an entrepreneurial requirement because it's not going to be a smooth ride you are going to get messed up by all the forces around you it's about how you pick yourself up and you did that admirably um my decision in scoring for you has got nothing to do with the blip that you had but it only tells you that you need to be prepared for all kinds of eventualities right um also you are trying to do something which is well it is fraught with tremendous degree of uh, societal change uh, hopefully for the betterment um coaching is a very contentious issue right i am an educator myself i teach I'm a professor um i have children in fact one of them is your age and the other one's younger and i understand how how they're going through in fact one of the thoughts that i was having is there's a movie called uh, big b i g it has tom hanks in it it's a very old movie it's for a 30 year old i mean i think it's not that old on a movie but it's before you are you were born so it's very old you guys should watch it the reason why big because such a cool movie is tom hanks becomes a big an adult all of a sudden from a teenager 
and he picks up a job in a toy factory. And because adults make all the toys for children, and the company wasn't doing too well. And all of a sudden, they had this uh, adult who was actually a, a teenager inside, and he could design the toys better. Maybe the time has come for all these fancy companies to have people such as you design their applications for learning. Uh, I find that very stimulating. Uh, I have a lot of interest, uh, including financial interest in education-based ventures. Um, fascinating, literally liked it. My usual questions, why should I Thank use you. your app? Why should I bother using this? Yes, so, so. Answer it very briefly, I've seen the presentation, you've covered it, but answer it very briefly. Okay, uh, so sir, have you heard of Lemmy, which we introduced? So it is a friendly bot. Uh, you can see that Google Assistant, when you ask him a query, then it will put up a link in front of you and it will answer it like that. But if you uh, look deeper into our slide, then when we ask a question to Lemmy, it will answer in a very friendly manner, just like you are asking your friend, your teacher. So that is something very different from other apps. Also, uh, there is another feature that is for the disabled children who have disorders. So AI professionals, which is which uh, has better compatibility for learning. So we have number of features that are different from other apps and we are actually uh, introducing something more new uh, for digital marketing and etc. Et I hope you understand. Here's a, here's a thought I want to park in your mind. Uh, and I, I suspect some of you will agree with this. Uh, I was talking to my son who's in class 12 and uh, he spent his entire class 11 doing online schooling, just like many of you spent possibly your entire class 10 and he's now spending his 11. Um, and I was asking him and because he's saying that, you know, he's obviously bored and he wants to go back to school. I've never seen him so eager to go back to school. Um, he doesn't really enjoy school beyond the point. And I said, why? He says, I'm missing my friends and it's not the same thing to be online. So that set me thinking. So I asked my students, I teach in colleges and I asked them, and uh, what is it that you miss? And they said that I miss peer learning the most because when, you, when a teacher teaches you something, uh, we tend to ask our friends, right? We discuss amongst ourselves and at times the, it becomes clearer when you talk to your friends. Isn't that right? So, Yes, sorry, sir, we agree with your point. Studying with your friends is completely a different experience rather than sitting in front of your laptops for the whole day. We learn a lot and lot more when compared. So here, here is this, um, I wanted to respond to this. This is an, a suggestion plus a question. Do you think it is possible for your content, the content that you're going to create in this for this app, for people to learn, to be created by other people, other students? I mean, you know, they have to be verified that if somebody is explaining, I don't know, something in physics or in biology or in history, it is correct. I'm assuming that the, the content is fine. But do you think it's, it's possible that um, Gulpreet is opening, is using this app right now, and she's trying to study and, you know, cost of the teacher taught Gulpreet um, physics. And I was teaching Archimedes principle or something like that. And upar se chala gaya. Of course, the teacher ko pata bhi chala ki Gulpreet ko samaj mein nahi aaya, right? And then Gulpreet yes, That is why so we are using digital things more than teachers like yeah. AI professionals. Yeah, absolutely. Now, but, assume this for a second. Gulpreet now opens the app and finds Bhumika has got a video over there explaining Archimedes principle. Is that a possibility? Is that, can content be created by other children? Is that, do you think there's a possibility of building a business like that? I think so that's a wonderful idea. They are going to be totally surprised and will surely look for that video when their friend are explaining the same part. That's a wonderful idea for the enterprise from your side. So now the point is uh, Salman Khan, not our bhai Salman Khan, there's another one in America. Um, he's got something called the Khan Foundation, right? The Salman Khan Foundation, whatever it's called. Um, the Khan Academy. The Khan Academy. Have you seen the videos over there? They're actually very good. 
very good quality. Yes, sir. Why will I not use them? Why will I use yours? So, uh, rather than like we have so many brands in cars, which car do you drive, sir? Just which car do I drive? Yes, sir. None. Okay. So, let's let's yeah. Let's assume I drive a Tesla. I don't, but let's assume I drive a yes, Tesla. Yes, sir. You have got a Tesla, but whereas uh, actually you have chosen a very good brand, so the comparison becomes a little hard. But we have many more brands like Toyota, Hyundai, Maruti. But still, people go for Tesla because of the Does features and the characteristics. Yes, sir. I, I I could not hear you. I'm sorry, Tushar. Could you repeat what you just said? Uh, actually, I'm also having some connectivity issues over here. It's okay. It's okay. I think it was a great presentation. I'm very happy with what you did. I think it's futuristic and not. I think it's the time for somebody to come in and do something. Um, everybody wants to uh, wants to have a slice of that coaching pie, and uh, there is more the merrier. Somebody to come with more disruptive ideas is there, and I'm sure uh, Shubayu, who has a similar business, well, not quite the same as I understand, but. Something on similar lines in terms of facilitating learning. Um, maybe the two of you will have uh, wonderful conversations going forward and a billion dollar company to come up. Uh, and like Shubhayu said in the case of the press presentation, don't forget it happened here. I want a slice of that pie as well. Um, thank you. God bless you guys. Very well done. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you, team, for that wonderful presentation. If uh, the judge could put in the scores for you now. And I will leave the poll to the audience. You now have the poll on your screen. You have 90 seconds to rate this team. As Sir said, uh, Notebook is an EdTech app and we operate in very similar lines as you. And in case you are thinking about this seriously as a you know business venture you want to take forward, would love to have a chat with you separately. Uh, we've had some brilliant learnings over the last three years in the education space. And uh, like Sir talk, talked about peer learning, you would not believe how many other non-curricular aspects contribute to the learning mechanism. Sir, personally feel like you are as our best motivation, something which motivates us toward these types of enterprises. A wonderful example for us. Thank you so much, Tusha. But no point telling me that I am not polling. You have the awesome. other members. <laughs> well, that was on a lighter win. Awesome. One minute in, 84% of people have voted. We're waiting for the balance 16% to also vote. I already have this scores from Mr. Majumdar. On another 10 seconds, we will wrap up the polls and invite Mr. Majumdar to give his comments on all these wonderful presentations that he's seen today. Uh, somebody of his experience, when he sees you guys coming up with such brilliant new innovative ideas, I'm sure he will have his comments on that. Well, that's the end of the poll. Mr. Majumdar, sir, if I may invite you back. Yes, Shubayu, thank you so much. Um, again, first and foremost, thank you for having me over here. I'm deeply obliged to you and I and CIP both. I'm also uh, humbled by what I see. This is the second time you have invited me. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to repeat what I said last time for the benefit of all, all the young entrepreneurs over here. In my mind, you guys are all winners to begin with. Um, I wasn't doing anything like you guys, what you're doing now when I was in class 11. Um, so I think in my mind, you guys are champions to begin with, right? And just to, just to even think and attempt what you're doing is, is outstanding. And, and my heartfelt wishes for all of you. Um, what happens in these uh, competitions are of course important, but that they are not going to define um, who you are. What is going to define is, is the fact that you're participating in this and doing your best and, and, and you know, you're preparing yourself for, for a you know, life full of adventure. I think entrepreneurship to me is also about adventure and enjoyment. And I think it's outstanding uh, that you guys are doing what you're doing just to begin with. Now, whether you win, whether you don't win, it has a bearing, but it should not be the primary objective. 
I've heard some great ideas today. In fact, all four ideas were fantastic. Um, all four of you have tremendous merit. All four of you have tremendous possibilities. I'm going to repeat in the interest uh, of if there were some people who missed out. The, in my mind, the way I look at it, I mean, I have more stories of failures than successes um, of my own and others. And I can tell you in a nutshell, a few things which are crucial. One, it's important that you make smaller plans and then grow them. Um, and those, you have to execute those plans because, you know, there is, uh, I think, uh, <clears throat> I think it was John Lennon who wrote that life is what happens to you when you're busy making other plans. So plans are important, but then plans don't really last. So it's important that you make the plan and you put them to use and see how they work out for you and then make changes and then again, go back. So it's important that you prototype, make MVPs and roll out little things. I would love it, love it if you are going ahead with any of your business plans, this ones or others, that you make smaller plans, talk about execution, talk about market feedback and then make changes and then go back again. That's one thing that I would like you to remember. Second, product is not the business. Product is only one part of the business. So when you have a product, you need to start thinking, how are you going to uh, sell that? How are the customers going to come to you? And the third, I think most crucial component uh, is it's not about customers and product only. It's about the model, how the business is going to happen. Right, and I'm Shubhayu, for example, is, is running this such an exciting business and he has got a product, he has got customers, but I'm sure he spends a lot of his time trying to figure out how the model, how the engine's working. If I have an app of some kind or a product of some kind, how will that mod the model of the business will work? Per se, uh, absolutely humbled and tremendously, tremendously excited with the prospects of all of you guys. Thank you so much for having me here. Lots and lots of love and blessings. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for making the time to be here. It's an absolute privilege to have such distinguished judges judging every round of these events. And we cannot thank IMCIP enough for arranging for that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have this course from the judges. I have this course from the audience polls. But before I tell that to you, here's a little bit about Notebook. We at Notebook are an ethic organization like EduCascade just before this. We make content. And this content is in the form of short videos that you can find on any device that you want, whether it's a laptop or a smartphone. What these videos do is they give you a very visual understanding of the topics that the teachers are teaching you. And you can access them anytime, anywhere, see them as many times as you want until you're confident about your understanding of a topic. I'm going to play some snippets of the content that I'm referring to so that you know what it is that notebook videos look like. Namaste, Bachcho. Notebook mein aapka swagat hai. इस नए वीडियो को आपके सामने प्रस्तुत करते हुए हमें बेहद खुशी हो रही है हमारा उद्देश्य है परंपरागत शिक्षा को आधुनिक तरीके से पेश करना ताकि हमारी ये नई पीढ़ी या आप सभी कहीं भी कभी भी इसे आसानी से पढ़ सकें हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द स्टोरी मैडम राइड्स द बस रिटन बाय वल्ली द किंग लुई द 16 हैड कम टू पावर इन 1774 एट ओनली 20 इयर्स ऑफ एज The king helped the 13 American colonies gain independence from Britain. Curly brown hair turning permanently black. If you memorize this line, it will help you remember the ratios all your life. How? Let's see. Some people have is a way of remembering sine is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. Write energy for everything you do throughout the day. Next is the nucleus, the brain of the cell. This is where all the secrets are stored. Why do you think you have black eyes as your parents? Aha! Thank the nucleus. Whoa! What is this? We are going to drown. Don't worry. You are not going to drown. This is the cytoplasm. Sometimes a fully grown individual such as hydra or planaria or starfish can give rise to a complete individual from its body parts isn't this interesting
नोटबुक में आप सभी का पुनः स्वागत है तो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दैट वाज जस्ट अ सैंपल ऑफ नोटबुक वीडियोस एंड नाउ कॉलिंग अपॉन द पर्सन हु स्टार्टेड इट ऑल ऑचिन भट्टाचार्य इज द फाउंडर एंड सीईओ एट नोटबुक अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट बाय ट्रेनिंग ऑचिन वाज अ डायरेक्टर एट डेलॉयट प्राइर टू स्टार्टिंग नोटबुक ऑचिन यू हैव सीन सम ब्रिलियंट प्रेजेंटेशंस टुडे ओवर टू यू फॉर योर कमेंट्स गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आई थिंक रियली वंडरफुल मस्ट कांग्रेचुलेट और योर फ्रेंड all the four schools uh, max for school rohini learning path school signus world school and red rose public school so really wonderful ideas attractive presentation great teamwork and passion for the cause undoubtedly a wonderful session we had at ignite we really want to meet you on your terms one we want you to come up with innovative solution to problems that you can relate to and that's exactly what i saw today the whole objective is that you know each one of us have our own individual inclinations there are some of you who might have a natural inclination towards design art whereas your friend in the group on the other hand might have a natural inclination towards technology Or, or or towards you know the commercial side of things but when you work together as a team what this really teaches you is to be able to join the dots and you know develop critical thinking skills you really need to understand things from the other person's perspective as well so that few years down the line when you actually start your careers to join the workforce in whatever capacity as an entrepreneur or you want to start somewhere maybe few years and then you you want to start your own venture at times really very very important to be able to work as a team and appreciate things from the perspective of the other person and that's exactly what at notebook we we aspire to do we really want to we really want you to use your entrepreneur spirit for good and see to it that you can change the society for better and i'm sure going by what i've seen i'm 100% confident that you will to do it with such great support from your school and parents as well so really wonderful session uh, undoubtedly i i also thank our knowledge partners i am cip for their great thought leadership i thank our esteem judges mr majundra and mr bhattacharya for their time here today for guiding our young friends here young, young learners and some great words of advice in fact each question that i was listening to that came up from the esteem judges you know the whole objective was also to mentor you so there was a hidden word of advice in each and every question i think some really wonderful questions very thought provoking questions so overall great session and and i thank the esteem principals for for encouraging our endeavor and i also thank and congratulate the teachers and parents for your wonderful support to this to this call over to you shubhayu we really look forward to this. but then again irrespective of scores i think each one of you today go back as winners for for having shown the courage and conviction to come forward and present your ideas in front of the forum to me that's the most important takeaway over to you shubhayu thank you rajan thank you for your words of encouragement but here is what people have been waiting for teams here are your scores signus world school vadodara you had 75 from the judges and 13 from the audience learning path school mohali 73 from the judges and 13 from the audience maxford school rohini you had 65 from the judges but a lot of friends in the audience and you got 15 there the highest rated on the audience polls and red roses public school delhi you had 76 from the judges the highest judges score today and 13 from the audience the final score however have a bit more to them signus baroda with 88 LPS Mohali with 86, Maxport Rohini. While your total was 80, we had to dock you four points for going significantly over the time limit. And Red Roses Public School, you finished with 89 as your total. We also had to dock you one point for going over the time limit. As I said, the ideas are brilliant, and we have loved listening to each and every second of what you had to say. But being a competition, there would have to be some rules, and we would have to follow them. 
but I think today has been a learning experience, some wonderful presentations. Thank you all so very much for being part of it. I will see you again in a few hours. At six o'clock, we have the 11th qualifier. Until then, a huge thank you to Mr. Majumdar for being here today. Thank you to everyone who joined in. And I will see you at six o'clock today. Until then, please take care and goodbye.